Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do a Yankee Candle haul. Now, this is definitely not one purchase. This is a collective haul um, from the Yankee Candle store as well as the Yankee Candle outlet. We have an outlet about an hour and a half from my house, so I don't get to go that often. So when I do go, I like to stock up. But recently, we have an outlet that's about 15 minutes from my house. They just opened a Yankee Candle outlet. So I'll try to remember which ones were from the outlets and which ones were from the regular store. There was a buy one, get one free coupon a couple weeks ago, which is what I did with the regular store. So I'm just going to start off with one that I know is from the outlet, and this one is Blueberry Muffin. Now, I love Blueberry Muffin, Blueberry Scone, I just love Yankee Candles Blueberry Scents. And this is no exception. I bought this from the regular store last year or the year before when it was a treasure and burned through that in like two weeks. It was awesome. It's very different from Blueberry Scone, which I actually have with me. It's more of that muffin scent. You get more of the bakery, the yeast, the sugared crust on the top of the muffin. It's just, it's more of a baked, baked good muffin blueberry scent. It is absolutely yummy. And then on the same page, this I actually got from the outlet, and it is a blueberry scone Twick tumbler. And it does have the white label, so I was pretty excited to see that. Um, so I purchased this, which this is definitely more of a fruit blueberry with a little bakery and whipped cream. That's what makes it different. I love it. I love their blueberry scents, and I'm really sad that this one's discontinued, but seeing it at my outlet a lot, I'm pretty okay with that, and as well as the blueberry muffin. The next one is a newer fall scent, and I already started to burn this. This is called Apple Spice, and this is in the large jar, and it burned very clean. I didn't trim the wick yet, but it burned very clean and very strong. I didn't really know what to expect from this being the large jar. I don't get a whole lot of a throw from their large jars. This gave me that incredible throw that you need. This smells different than um, what you might think um, you would think from the label you would probably think of Bath and Body Works cinnamon sugar donut and cinnamon sugar donut is definitely there's no apple so that's what brings these two apart but the cinnamon sugar donut is really 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 bakery this is more of just a cinnamon sugared apple there's a little bit of a baked donut scent in it, and this is a yellow label from the outlet, but not too much. It's definitely a great balance, though, and I only burn it once just to see what it is, but I will be saving this for the fall time, which is pretty soon. The next one is the only one that I have in a medium size, and that's because I love this scent, and you ever know whenever you find a fragrance that you like, and you're just like, oh, it'll be there, well... When this was discontinued, I was really upset because I liked it and I never picked it up because I figured I'd have it just like fluffy towels, which I did stock up on. Um, and this is Maple Pancakes. I really like Maple Pancakes um, from Yankee Candle. It's it's hard to describe. This is a two-wick tumbler. It does have the white label, so this came from a retail store. Um, and it smells so good. The first note that you definitely get is the maple, but I would not necessarily say it's maple syrup, like you would think. Maple syrup, it's more of just like a maple tree, but not, don't think it's green or woodsy, it's not. It's like the, it's like the difference between artificial mint and like the mint leaf, that's what this reminds me of. That's the type of maple. And then you get that baked pancake scent, you get that buttery, gooey pancake, as you can tell from the label. It's super, super, super yummy. I like this one a lot. I don't know when I'll burn it because I just, I like it so much to smell, but probably like on a Sunday morning, I could see lighting this, you know, just a lazy Sunday. That's what I would see. The rest are all Tuwick tumblers. This one I did get from the retail store, I believe. I don't know if this was semi-annual sale or 
when I just know I don't think I hauled it. If I did, I'm sorry. This is cranberry chutney. I love cranberry chutney. I always have. This was one of the first Yankee candles I ever tried. The one, the first one was, I don't remember, vanilla lime, I think. I'm not sure. But um, this is really, really nice. It's that tart cranberry, but reminds me of cranberry sauce. But it has this zing to it that's just fantastic. And I know this is like a fall fragrance, but I could burn this scent all year long. And the one thing that I will say I like about Yankee Candle more than Bath & Body Works is this candle could come out 10 years in a row. The label will still be the same. The name will still be the same. You won't know when you bought it. With Bath & Body Works, like Cinnamon Sugar Donut this fall versus last fall, it's a newer label. Everything's changed, and I feel like the old ones are just old. You know, you don't want to use them anymore. So that's why I like, I know that's kind of strange, but that's why I like the Yankee Candles better. This next one is from the outlet. I loved this scent, and I understand it did come back at the summertime just in a different name, but I wanted um, I wanted it um, in this label because I like this label better. And this came out, I think, last year or the year before at the summertime. You'll know what it is. They had two left at the outlet, and I grabbed both. This is the Coconut Number. No. Five, which is coconut and vanilla bean. They had a whole range of different coconut scents, and number five was my favorite. It's suntan lotion, but it's like higher-end suntan lotion. It's not that crappy, boring coconut and vanilla that you would think of. It's very, very, very rich and creamy coconut. So I love this scent all year long, not just the summer, so I picked up two of these, and I also have another one that I got at the retail store whenever it did come out a while ago. This next one I purchased from the outlet, and this is Autumn Wreath. I love Autumn Wreath. This is another one that's a very popular scent. It comes back every single year. One of their top sellers. And it smells so, so, so good. It reminds me of when you walk into, like, a Michaels or Joanne Fabrics at fall time. That's exactly what it reminds me of. And it is super, super, super yummy. I cannot get enough of this one. This one I also purchased from the outlet. The rest? No. I have two that I didn't. Um, which is Mountain Lodge. And this... I remember when this... Um, when I first smelled this, I didn't know. I was like, Mountain Lodge? What could this smell like? But it's really, really good. And I don't ever remember if I ever purchased it in a large size. I know I had tumblers of it, but I'm not sure if I had the regular, um, like a larger jar or tumbler. I might have a while ago. I probably had every single one. But, um, it's hard to describe. It's creamy, like creamy cologne, but it has woods in it that's... It's really good. Um, it's not just a man scent either. It's for, I think everybody will like it. Now these two that I bought at the retail store are scents that I always love, I always want, but I never, ever, ever pick them up. So I decided I did this time. One is Soft Blanket, which you remember, nostalgic for my videos with the teddy bear. Yeah, this is that Soft Blanket. It smells super, super, super amazing. It's amazing. It smells like, um, it smells like fresh, like a fresh blanket coming out of the wash. It's still warm. What are you doing, Roxy? It's still warm. It's still cozy. It's just, I love it. I love it in the bathroom. I love it in the bedroom. Not a kitchen scent, but. And then another one, which is my sister's favorite. This is Pink Sands. This is a classic. I think this came out like three or four years ago, so it's not old, but um, it's not that new either. It's just, everybody knows what pink sand smells like. It's just like melon with a little spice is how I describe it. But don't let the spice fool you. It's yummy. Now, the rest are all from the outlet. This They did a 4 for 44 deal this weekend. And then there was one other one that just caught me by surprise that I'd like. This one, now I can tell why this is at the outlet. This one is Harvest. Do you see the different layers? See how it's really light at the top and darker at the bottom? That doesn't bother me. When I burn it one time, that'll 
that'll all disappear. It still looks great, you know, it still smells like that classic cinnamon harvest. This and Autumn Wreath are the two that I would say smell most like a grass store. This one is super cinnamon, which is shocking that I love this so much because I hate cinnamon scent, but I think this blended, like, with sparkling cinnamon, I can't, I cannot tolerate that. You'll never see that in my house. I have tarts of it, but I just, I won't melt it. I don't even know why I have them, but, ooh, that's just terrible. This is amazing, though. It's cinnamon blended with pumpkin, blended with the right amount of spices and everything to create an amazing fragrance. Same with the amazing scents. This one, ever it first came out, was a hit. They couldn't keep it on the shelves. And this is apple pumpkin. Now, this is classified as food and spice. It could be fruit. It doesn't really matter. It's awesome. Now, I'm a little disappointed. This did come from the outlet. They must have trimmed the wicks. And I didn't realize it because look at how short that those wicks are. So I know that this will be one that I will have to light and let burn for a while so it can correct itself and burn all the way out. But this is, again, super yummy. It's 50% apple, 50% pumpkin. It's just it's that blended together. Then apple cider. Now, apple cider is yummy as well. This is totally different than apple pumpkin. It's apple cider. Like when you go to the farmer's market or anything and you buy fresh, warm apple cider, that is it in a jar, in a fragrance. Now the last two that I have are new scents coming out this winter that they did have at the outlet, so I was pretty excited to see it. The first one is silver birch. Now silver birch, <laughs> it's yummy, yummy. This is what it looks like. Now, I know seeing the color, and when I tell you this, you're going to think, well, how's that a smell? Metallic cologne. I know that sounds crazy, but it's like metallic cologne because of this like silver platinum colored wax. It smells like a men's cologne, but not a cheap men's cologne that you would buy at like the department store or something. This is where you buy it, Nordstrom, from the designers. It's super high end. It's the... I could see this be burning in a man's house who never leaves the house without a suit and tie. Like, very, very high-class man. It's really, really, really good, though. You know, it has aquatic scents. There's probably some bergamot in here. I'm actually going to look this one up because I am super curious about it. Um, the notes, it's just... Yankee Candle Silver Birch. Oh, this is a new fall fragrance. Let's see. Autumn is in the air. The slight crispness of an early fall breeze mingles with a spicy dryness of just turning leaves. Well, that didn't tell me much. <laughs> um, it's really yummy. So that's what the description is. It's, it's very hard to describe. And then the last one is really yummy. I love it just as much. This one's bay leaf wreath. Now, this is at the outlet because look at how close to the top that's filled. Look at how close. This is the normal retail store. Look at the difference. It's like filled to the top. And it's like cracked a little bit. Not the wet, not the glass, the wax. And this one says, such a refreshing way to welcome the season. An aromatic blend of bay leaves, orange, and cedar wood. Now this is yummy, yummy, yummy. It smells just like bay leaves that you you know you cook with but that orange i mean i didn't even have to read the description and there was citrus in it because if it was straight bay leaf that would be so strong i wouldn't even know what to do but i know angela was burning this yesterday she posted a picture of she'll have to let me know what she thinks of this because i know it's going to be strong but not overpowering it's just the perfect blend of citrus and spice it's it's really 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 yummy a little cologne -y. People might think it's cologne -y. It's not, but that's what I could see, people. This is classified as fresh. It's yummy. So anyway, that was my Yankee Candle Haul mixed outlets with retail store. I know I haven't done a Yankee Candle outlet or a Yankee Candle Haul in a while. I've been more into beauty and um, skincare and 
other things like that, but I'm really starting to because I have so much beauty now. I mean, with all those Corez body butters that I got, I have one of every body shop body butter, L'Occitane, Philosophy. I just have so much right now that I need to use up uh, my beauty products before I start with any of my... Uh, before they start to expire, so I'll be doing many more candle hauls because I definitely love to shop and I need to build up my candle collection now because I really don't have all that many candles now. I mean, I still have a lot, but it's really starting to diminish because I always have a candle burning, multiple candles burning in the house, and I just haven't been replenishing my stock. I mean, if I want to spend $100, I will buy $100 worth of beauty products and instead of candles. It's just what I've been into recently. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know if you've been purchasing some Yankee candles lately and which ones have been your favorites. I'd love to hear it. I'll talk to you later. Bye!